our typical hive setup for uh, hiving bees is to put in eight frames um, with a frame feeder. We always try to make sure we have some empty frames. Every now and then we put in only six. We prefer eight. We try to make sure that there's a frame that has a good bit of pollen in it. I don't know if you can see that on the video. And we try and make sure that we have some granulated feed in the hive. That's not always possible, so that's one of the reasons why we'd like to make sure there's some granulated feed. We try to make sure we always put frame feeders in. If you want to fill frames instead and put those in, that's fine. As long as they do have liquid feed, that's quite, we find it quite important. Um, once we have the hive set up with the frame feeder, we will put the bees into this spot here and then put the frames in on top of them. Our preferences, and I'll show you this later, is that the queen cage with the mesh so that the queen is uh, uh, visible to the top. We try and put that at an angle leaning up against this frame uh, with the screen against the frame so that if while you're putting it together it falls over, it should fall with the screen up so that the bees can still get at the queen and still attend to her until they can release her. We usually put a little bit of uh, uh, granulated honey or wax into the hole after we pull the cork out just to slow down the queen's release by 15 20 minutes half an hour depending on how fast they're eager to get her out of there the queens have been introduced to the hives generally so it's uh, usually not a problem it's just a matter of trying to get her uh, not introduced while the hive kind of settles into the box so that's our main thing